Hi, I'm Anne Marie. I'm with Digital Logic Solutions Inc. And today I'm talking about four entry level positions that you can do if you're interested in the field of information security. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through four entry level positions that require less than five years' experience. And we're going to start with the security analyst role. Uh, so the security analyst works as part of a security operations team um, or could be working as part of a SOC, so that's a security operations center. Uh, this job in particular is a very hands-on tool type of job. So you're probably interacting with the security software um, that you're using to support your clients. Uh, you are an operator of a security tool, such as an antivirus solution. Uh, you might be performing some kind of vulnerability scanning. Um, or you could be monitoring a SIM solution. And a SIM solution is a security information and event monitoring tool. So this is a, a tool that collects information security logs and correlates them to provide insights to how your organization is doing. Um, so in this role, you may be required to interact with other people, such as uh, clients. Um, it could be that you're part of a managed service solution, in which case you may be on the phone or interacting with your clients by email or through a ticketing system. Um, and if you're working internally within an organization, you might be providing insights to people within your organization about where the security risks lay. Okay, and because you have all the forensic information in the tools that you're using, you might need to help coordinate uh, remediation activities with teams or to help or lead investigations. Uh, security analysts typically work very closely within uh, their small immediate team and provide ongoing support and mentoring to each other within this role. So uh, it's important to have a naturally kind of collaborative approach to be able to work with your team and to support each other. Uh, I think one thing that's unique about the security analyst role is that more so than any other role, you may be on call. So you may be expected to carry a cell phone or a pager so that people can contact you outside of hours. So you might be providing 24-7 support on a rotational basis. Uh, this is a good job for gaining some work experience and expertise and for those who are uh, establishing their information security career. Um, if you like slick security tools, and perhaps you're already using tools at home, such as free vulnerability scanners or penetration testing tools, if you really enjoy doing that, then this is a job for you. You're motivated, you're a self-starter, you're able to work independently and collaboratively as a team. So if you're considering a career change, this job might be suitable for you if you already have experience as a service desk or help desk type of role, um, or as if you're already working within a network operations center. So I highly recommend the security analyst role as your first work experience in an information security career. Okay, now let's talk about a position that's near and dear to my heart because I've been doing it for many years, and that's the role of the security consultant. So a security consultant, uh, the role varies from one client to the next, but essentially um, uh, this is how I would describe it. So you might or you might not be interacting with security tools. My experience has been that I have not, um, but many do. For certain, you need to be able to take the output from security tools and security reports and be able to translate them to a non-security audience. Uh, and there's a range of uh, opportunities within the security consultant role, um, and they're extremely varied. But I'm going to describe um, two different categorizations, so external customer focused and internal client focused. So as part of an external customer facing consulting role, you'd be working as part of a professional services team, and essentially you're filling a staffing need for your client. Um, you're bringing your expertise as a security professional to this role to help solve a problem or participate in a project or help de develop or deploy a solution for your client. So this requires that you're able to quickly learn about your client's organization, how they're set up, um, and also learn about their security uh, standards, practices, and procedures, um, and any regulations they might be subject to. 
And that's uh, in the best case scenario. In the worst case scenario, you're working for a client that has none of those and you have to do the research to try and bring industry best practice to your or, uh, customer's organization. Um, so as a first role, as a junior security consultant, uh, within this role, you would be working very closely with the senior consultant who's leading the engagement. So it's either a senior consultant or a managing consultant that has a primary relationship with the customer and that person would be giving you day-to-day -day, um, directions or be providing um, some direction on what the goal of the engagement is so that you can be successful. Uh, in the in the other case, when you're working internally with an internal client, um, you're employed by the organization and you're working as part of a cross-functional team to deliver a project or to help an initiative. Uh, within this role, uh, your job is to provide uh, sound security advice and guidance to, to those internal stakeholders. So this requires that you have a deep understanding of what your company's security policies, procedures, and practices are so that you can provide security expertise. Um, the security consultant role generally doesn't involve on-call work, um, but you might be called upon to work outside of hours, particularly to do your own research. You'll be expected to interact with people, uh, many of which don't have a security background as part of a cross-functional team, and uh, you'll need to be able to quickly understand their business needs. Um, so something uh, specific about the security consultant role is that you need to be able to work in an environment where there's a high degree of ambiguity. Um, so you might not have all the information about what your client's needs are right away, and that can make, make you feel a little uncomfortable. Um, so you need to be okay with that. You need to be able to um, communicate clearly with your client and ask the right questions to dry out what their needs are. Uh, you'll need to be able to collaborate as part of a cross-functional team, even working with groups that might be external to your organization. So let's talk about who's good for a security consultant role. So those who have naturally good communication skills, both written and verbal, are well suited to this role. You need to have good presentation skills. Um, you need to be naturally outgoing. You need to have a high level of emotional intelligence, which means that you know who you are and how your emotions impact how you act. People who are working in the security consulting role need to be um, stable and remain professional even when tensions are high. Security consultants often branch out on their own and set up their own contract um, type uh, engagements with their clients. Uh, if you have an entrepreneurial spirit, then the security consultant role might be particularly well suited to you. You can carry yourself as a professional. So security consultants can act as naturally in a suit and tie as they do in their jeans and t-shirts. Uh, now security consultants are often expected to be traveling and on the road. So you need to be able to work independently um, and to be able to work outside of a your normal office environment. You might find yourself working in airports or traveling long distances to get to your client's location. Because they're often on the road, it's really important for security consultants to learn how to find their own work-life balance. Let's talk for a minute about the difference between a consultant and a contractor role. They're often confused. So a contractor is somebody who is working independently um, for paid work at their client organization and they're paid for that finite term contract. The opposite of contractor is an employee of the organization. Uh, unlike employees, contractors don't get paid benefits. So if you're seeking a role as a contractor, you'll need to uh, determine who's going to pay your health and dental benefits and you'll be responsible for taking care of your own vacation and your own savings plans.